Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 8 of the mobile networks overview course in episode 7 uh, we talked about uh, CS course services and I promise to you that in the episode 8 we talked about the basic scenarios of CS core uh, right now we want to talk about the location update scenario which is the, ba uh, the most basic and also the most important uh, scenario in the mobile networks because you should update and you should register in the network to uh, so you you can have the service okay so this is the first and one of the most important scenarios in the mobile networks and i, I will always used to uh, teach this when i uh, when i talk uh, enough about the terminologies and other things and uh, one good news for you that follows until here uh, if you can uh, uh, be familiar and uh, fluent with this type of signaling flow I think the other signaling flow would be would be easy for you because you should know in every signaling flow for example this is also the standard of 3GPP standard flow you should know we have some network elements network elements or some system for example this is base uh, base station subsystem each of these entities maybe include some other parts for example BSS as you know in 2G or GSM is consists of BTS and BSC okay and we have MSC and uh, so we have some network elements and also we have some uh, interface as I told to you before these are the interface for example the interface between ms and bss is um or between bss and mss uh, oh sorry 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 the interface between uh, for example bss and uh, let me let me erase this one the interface between uh, bss and msc is what is a interface uh, between MSC and VLR is B and between VLR and HLR is D but we also have some something as protocol protocol is something that the two network elements is talking based on that for example BSS and MSS MSC is talking with BSS IP protocol MSC and VLR are talking through map which is mobile application part okay I will go through the detail of that in the next uh, episodes but you just know uh, please in, uh, remember that map is a protocol uh, for mobility in uh, 2g and 3g generations mobile networks okay so and also uh, I expect I expect from you that you know also one thing uh, so first the interface the protocol and also protocol stack okay it's also very important to know the concept okay let's go through this uh, and I will choose in color red okay I would like to thank Surface because its wonderful capabilities give me these options to have a wonderful pen and talk to you uh, very easily and describe for you. Okay, this uh, and before before going uh, through the detail of the scenario, uh, I also so should mention that I always look uh, and, and take care of your comments. One of our friends asked me to uh, talk about uh, this scenario location update that I'm doing this and also CS call follow that I in the next episode I will go through that uh, before this I should tell you that location update or LU has a, some uh, as a different kinds if you want I can share with you a document it is more than 100 pages uh, if you send me email or comment me I can share it with you but uh, we have some kinds of location update according to a standard the first one is IMSI attach it's related to when you uh, it's very uh, clear when you power on your mobile 
for mobile devices MC attached the next one is uh, general location update it is easy and you can understand uh, from the name when you are changing your location when you are changing your location based on the configuration of the network you can do location update for example in one network uh, changing from one msc to another msc area and location update will happen okay uh, the third let me uh, continue here the third one is combined location update as we all uh, we usually all of us right now these days using this for example all uh, i also have a data service always on for example my lt is always on so i have a i have a um, location update between uh, combined with cs and ps together okay four is periodic location update based on the standard uh, network can set a timer in bss for example four hours to the to get track of the subscriber and two um, usually two weeks of this uh, uh, this uh, timer in msc will set to get track of the uh, subscriber i will uh, i will talk about the details more in, in later and five independent location update okay so let us uh, talk about what will happen for example let's see that uh, you just uh, you just power on power on your mobile and the first scenario in the attach is happening at the first uh, the ms or mobile subscriber will send a request location of the request by carrying its mz or maybe teamz i will say, i taught, told to you what is teamz teamz is a temporary mobile subscriber identity to uh, to take care of confidentiality of mz okay then bss and also some other parameters maybe teamz all location area current lai and so on bss in this in this message or many other messages don't go through the details of uh, upper layer and just transparently send it to the msc msc will send a message carrying mz up with update location update area to the update location area to the vlr vlr send the parameter to in uh, parameters to the hlr auc to ask him to send to ask you to send the authentication parameters like ran which is random number stress which is a signed response kc for sign as a ciphering key and mc okay here in this follow you will see that uh, authentication will occur the authentication is in 2g gsm is also very easy you will see in sim card we have an initial key on also an asc of hlr we have a run uh, we have a also here we have a ki these will uh, uh, and also a random number will uh, generate by auc this will uh, uh, combine with the algorithm with algorithm a3 and a8 with both of them KI in SIM card and KI in AUC and the final result is stress or sign response so I mean that for example let me let me see here we let us see here we have a KI in the SIM card okay and a KI in the mobile network as you know in AUC okay a random number is generated by the mobile network in AUC and, the, uh, and will send to the mobile subscriber so we have KI and RAND here and here the combination of them with this algorithm A3 to uh, 1 to 8 bit will give us the stress 
So it is normal that if this S rest is equal to the this S rest the authentication would be successful. Okay, so here it was this uh, authentication procedure. Then, if there is a previous VLR, it will send a cancel location update to that, and an acknowledgement will come from that. In this in this session, in this uh, 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 phase. Everything is ready for updating the location of the subscriber. So HLR or HSS in the next generation will insert the subscriber data. When I say insert subscriber data, it means that uh, the profile of the subscriber or some data that is needed for HLR to update the location, update the subscriber in its database. So insert subscriber data or, uh, or from one of my instructors, he always has a good example. The, uh, he, he said that uh, he, uh, the profile of a subscriber will download it from HLR to VLR. Okay, then VLR send an acknowledgement to this message and HLR uh, consequently send an update location acknowledgement to the VLR. In this phase, uh, the ciphering mode will be set to MSC, the cipher mode command to instruct the MS how to cipher the how to cipher the message and the voice signaling in the voice. Uh, here, the new TMZ will forward to the MSC because in each application update we have a new TMZ. And the update location area acknowledgement. So you see, cipher mode command will happen. Location update accept and look at team zero allocation complete. Team zero acknowledge, clear command, clear complete, and this is finished. So we see that uh, location update start from this trigger point, location of the request, and will end by this okay so in the future when i tell you about kpis for example what are kpis there are key performance indicators for measuring the network when i say what is location update successful rate so you know that the number of for example n1 and n2 we should divide number of Location update accept to the number of location update requests. For example, 95 percent. It means that 90 from 100 attempt, 95 of them was successful. Okay, for this session, I think it's enough. Uh, I try to give you a, a big picture and overview from location update scenario. For any for any question, feel free to contact me. Hope it was useful and informative for you. See you again. Bye.